Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about creating a virtual install of the latest version of Kali Linux using a VirtualBox. And though the installation procedure for creating a virtual install of Kali Linux using either VirtualBox or VMware remains the same, it is nice to see a updated video from time to time showing you the latest version for VirtualBox as well as the latest version for your Kali distribution. And though that doesn't mean a lot, it just tells you that you can go out to the VirtualBox download site and pick up the latest version of VirtualBox free of charge. So you can go out to the internet and you can just type in VirtualBox download inside of Google or you can use the link that's inside of the lab file and it'll take you directly out to the download page for VirtualBox. Now currently I'm running VirtualBox 6.16 and there is an update for VirtualBox 6.18 so I'm going to go ahead and download it. And while you're here, you scroll on down just a little bit until you come to the VirtualBox 6.18 1.8 or whatever version of VirtualBox you have extension pack. Make sure you get a copy of that as well. So I've made sure that my current version of VirtualBox is closed or shut down. So I'm going to go over here to my downloads folder. I'm up here inside of Firefox and I'm going to find that VirtualBox package that I just downloaded for 6.18. Go ahead and double click it and the installation begins. I'm going to go ahead and just click next, click next, click next and yes and install that's how easy it is and the installation is just about done and once this completes we'll then just move on over to installing the extension pack for the latest version of VirtualBox that we just installed now once the installation of VirtualBox does complete you have the option to go ahead and launch I'm gonna go ahead and accept that option click finish now that I have VirtualBox up and running I can go over here to the help about VirtualBox and it tells me that I am running VirtualBox 6.1.18. Go ahead and close that out. And now that we have VirtualBox installed, the last thing we have to do is import the extension pack. Now to do this, you just go to File and you go to Preferences. Over here in the left window pane, click on Extensions. I'm going to go ahead and remove the old one and I'm going to add the new one. Now mine is saved to my desktop, so let's go ahead and find it. And here it is, extension pack 6.1.18. Just double click it, install it, agree to the terms. Now before you can do that, you have to scroll all the way through the terms. Once you've done that, you can click on the I agree button. And the installation process begins. And then you get a message stating that it was installed successfully. Just click OK to that, click OK to the wizard, and you're done. We're now ready to move on with creating a virtual install of Kali Linux. Currently for this video demonstration, the latest version of Kali, that is for the distro, is Kali-Linux-2024-4. And that is the distribution we will be showing you how to create a virtual install of using VirtualBox. To get the latest version of Kali Linux from the download site, you can just go to Google and you just type in download Kali Linux and it'll take you out to the official Kali Linux downloads page. Now once you're out here to the download site, you're just going to scroll down here to the bottom. Now there's a number of different ways that you can install Kali as a virtual machine. You can do it step by step using the actual 64-bit installer or you can use the OVA file and just import Kali into your VirtualBox installation without having to go through the installation process step by step. If you scroll down just about halfway through the download page for the different installations for Kali Linux, you'll come to the OVA files. Now this one says that I can download it as either a 64-bit VMware image or a VirtualBox image. We want VirtualBox. I also have to decide whether or not I want the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version. And over here to the right, it provides me with a link for the download page for the OVA file for VirtualBox. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And on the next page, I'm going to scroll on down until I come to the images for VirtualBox. I'm going to expand the plus sign here. And now I have a choice between downloading the 64-bit version of the OVA file or the 32-bit vision for the OVA file. 
Now I also have the option of downloading this as a straight download or I can use a torrent. If I'm going to use a torrent, I have to have a torrent client. My torrent client is Free Download Manager. I'm going to go ahead and select that option. And when my download option pops up, it gives me another option to use Free Download Manager as my torrent client. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. I'll say OK. And it gives me the option to download it. And it's going to do everything for me if I have configured it inside of the properties for my free download manager correctly. I'm going to go ahead and say download and you're going to see that it starts the download process. And so once my OVA file for Kali Linux for VirtualBox has completed its download, I can close out my free download manager and I'm going to open up VirtualBox. Now once we're up here inside of VirtualBox, we're just going to go to file and we're going to go to import appliance. Now on this first screen, just browse on over to where you saved your downloaded OVA file by clicking on this folder icon. I'm going to go up to my ISO images here and I'm going to find my OVA file that I just downloaded and there it is. Now all I have to do is just double click it. And I'm going to scroll on down here and we bring this up a little bit. And I'm going to click next. I'm going to go ahead and accept all the defaults and I'm going to import. Now I have to agree to the terms of usage and I'm going to click on the agree button and the import process begins. And after just a few minutes, the importation completes and we're able to launch our installation of Kali Linux from the left window pane of our VirtualBox. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this. The new username and password for the latest version of Kali is Kali and the password is Kali, all lowercase. Now I'm going to go ahead and log on as root and I'm going to use my password of Tor and I'll show you how I did that in just a moment. Now that we have our Kali desktop, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings we might want to configure. You may not like that new checkered background that you get with the latest version of Kali. If you want to change it, just right click on the desktop anywhere, go to desktop settings and here you can select a different background. Another thing you may want to disable is the log off for inactivity after five minutes. To do that, you're going to go over here to the power button, you're going to click on that, you're going to go to settings, and from here you're going to click on display, and you're going to move all of the sliders all the way over to the left to where it says never, never, never. Underneath security, make sure that you have this set to five seconds. Uncheck the box, lock screen when system is going to sleep. Now your system will not log you off after five minutes of inactivity. Now if you would like to log on as root as opposed to logging on just as Kali, which is a default user, you can just change the password for root and I'll show you how to do that. First thing let's do, let's go ahead and change the font here by zooming in a little bit. To log on as root, I'm just going to type in the following, sudo space passwd for password and I'll just hit enter. Then it's going to want your new password. I'm just going to type in my existing password. I'll hit enter. I'll type in my new password one more time. And it tells me that my password updated successfully. Now you'll be able to log on as root. To update Kali, you have to have the correct network settings. So we can go up to devices. We can go to network, network settings. And you're going to have to change it over from whatever you're using to NAT network or bridged adapter. Now I prefer NAT network. That seems to work best. Go ahead and say OK. Now there are three update commands that I like to run. There's update, upgrade, and distribution upgrade. Now you can link all three of these commands together using two ampersigns like so. And then I can type in app-get space upgrade. Then I can type in two more ampersigns and I can type in app-get space D-I-S-T dash upgrade. But I'm going to go ahead and do this one at a time. Here I found that I had an AMD64 package waiting for me and I've already downloaded that. That's good to go. Next I can do an upgrade and it'll ask me if I want to proceed and I'll say yes. I'll type in Y and hit enter. As you can tell the upgrade is related to the update that I just downloaded. It's all part of the AMD64 package that I downloaded earlier. 
On this screen here, I'm just going to move my selection on over to yes. Do not prompt me for restarts or upgrades. Go ahead and do it automatically. Now the next command we need to run is the distribution upgrade command. So I've typed in app dash get space dist dash upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Ask me if I want to continue. I'll type in Y for yes and hit enter. Now the last thing we want to do is remove any old packages that are no longer needed. This is going to help keep Kali running smoothly and the old packages may get it confused. So it's always good to go ahead and remove what's no longer needed. So I've typed in app dash auto remove. Ask if I want to continue. I'll type in Y for yes. And so again, regardless if it's a major update or just a minor update with your Kali installation, the installation process using VirtualBox remains the same, remains constant throughout. It's not going to change. So if you've got any questions or you've got any concerns about anything we just covered in this video, don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.